All right. Hey, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning back in to another DOY Creations video. I am Jeanette, a.k.a. Soraya. And before I get started, I always like to give glory, honor, and praise to the Most High, Yah. All right, guys. I love this new segment that I got going on. Uh, I watched some other uh, content creators do this, and I started the everything I created in a month. And I've been doing this for a few months now, and I've really been enjoying just collecting everything that I've been crocheting and really seeing how much work am I really doing out here, okay? So in this video, I'm getting ready to share with you guys everything that I crocheted in November. Guys, we are in December already, right? The year came in and it's going out so fast. I shared with you all on a short video about this Karen Latte Cake. So I was anti-Karen Latte Cake. Uh, and the reason why I was all against it was because I kept running into yarn barf. We already know how that goes when you crochet in and you pull out some more yarn and then a lump sum of the yarn comes out and you like, okay, I was only trying to pull out a few strands. The whole thing didn't have to come unrattled. So that is what I was experiencing with the Karen Latte Cake. Uh, I really like this um, cow scarf that they have here. That is so pretty. But anyway, guys, I was watching Pamela from Pamela Crochet in Knits Corner. She made a beautiful head and scarf set on her Pinky J, her knitting machine. And I got so inspired. So initially, when I started making this scarf right here, initially, this was going to be a, uh, like a shawl, something that you could just drape around yourself. And I started this, I started this shawl on my, one of my live, my live chats at 10 a.m. on Sunday, Central Standard Time. I started it and I was like, you know what? I made this too long. So let's not make it a shawl. Let's convert it into be a scarf. See, every time I have an issue with something, I always love the end results. Let me know in the comments, do you guys experience the same thing? You're like, ah, I'm going to frog it. But when you finish it, you'd be glad you did, right? Regardless if you keep it for yourself or if you bless someone else with it. So I decided to make this nice, beautiful it is so beautiful oh i'm sorry the color is called what is the colorway it's blackberry okay so this is the colorway it's called blackberry and so it's just a nice long luxurious scarf that you can wrap around your neck maybe even twice depending on the side of your neck you probably could even do three times so look how nice that is i like the little fuzz in there it's giving me that chenille type of feel so it's very soft and very beautiful and because i was admiring um i was admiring uh pamela hat and scarf set i decided girl you better make you a hat as well so i made just a nice simple beanie to go with the scarf. So I had start with the scarf and say, let's make a hat and scarf set. How cute is that? Just a simple beading. Uh, this is basically just all double crochets, but yeah, there she go. So again, I really liked how this turned out. <laughs> a lot of you guys was in my comment was like, oh no, a Karen Latte Cake is beautiful. And it's beautiful to work with. What is your problem? The yarn barf, that was the issue I was experiencing. That's it. So I share with you guys also, if you've been watching a few of my videos, that behind me, which is my yarn stash, I've been trying to basically use up those one skeins wonders. I was like, you know what? I only got one skein, so let's try to do something with it. This is some Mega Tweed yarn right here. It's called Mega Tweed. It is in, uh, it's a bulky number six. And I think it is, how many yards, guys? Um, 
Okay, this one only had 74 yards or 68 meter, meters, six ounces. 87% uh, um, acrylic and 3% viscose. Not for sure. But anyway, I made a nice cow neck. I love making, and this is, oh my goodness, nice and thick. All right. So with that amount of yarn, okay, I use a large crochet hook. And this one is going to be really fitted on your neck. So if you are in those winter or cold states where it gets really cold, this one will hug you nicely. It's nice and thick. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So anytime that I'm using uh, a number five weight yarn or a number six, I only use large crochet hooks because I don't have time to be fighting against this yarn. But this is a one skein wonder and it is a cow neck scarf. Let's see how it looks on her neck here. I don't want to put it on me right now because I just don't. <laughs> so anyway, you see that? Really nice. Yeah. All right. That's your that's your time, okay? That's your show time. So let's put her over there. So I really like that. So if you got any one scheme wonders and you just like, okay, what do I do? Sorry, sorry for the shakiness. And you think, what should I do with that one scheme wonder? How about you just whip you up a cow neck scarf? All right. And again, that was only 74 uh, yards that was in here. And this color is called, um, this color is called, I don't know. It's called brown tweed. Brown tweed. All right. Another thing I made was another cow neck scarf. And it looks like this. Very, very pretty. I tell you, I love making. I love making. These are about the quickest and easiest things that you can make that won't take up a lot of time. And this one is, I'm not for sure. I believe this is the I Love This Yarn. I was trying to keep up with the ball band so I can give you guys some accurate information. And this is I Love This Yarn, and it's in the color sand, Sandstone. All right? I Love This Yarn, Sandstone. How And it's nice and soft. Oh, and the yardage was only, how many yards I had on here, guys? I had a very small number. Uh, uh, I think it's 100 yards. Either 100, 109. What I forgot to do was what, guys? Bring my glasses. That's exactly what I forgot to do. But nice, nice, soft cow neck scarf. And then I saw another skein of yarn that I had only one skein, which is called uh, Cozy Wool. And... This is the label right here. And the colorway is called uh, Sandwood as well. So I was like, okay, I love this yarn. It's in Sandwood. And this one is, this one is who? Loose and Thread, Cozy Wood. But they had the same colorway. So I went on and made a nice beanie. I made a beanie. But this sandal, this sandalwood and this one, I guess they are similar, right? What do you guys think? They can go as a pair. I guess they can go as a pair, but they're from two different companies. But when I saw that, I was like, wow, you kind of sort of think they would have been of the same. But yeah. So anyway, I made a quick beanie and I did some... Um, Double crocheting for this one here. And so this one is going to go as like a set. Yeah. Love it. And also, guys, I had actually two skeins of this yarn right here. This is the Premier uh, Serenity. And this is in Chunky, 109 yards, 100% acrylic. And I make this beautiful, beautiful hat. Unless, you know what? I thought your showtime was over. 
but I got a little bit more for you. So I made this beautiful um, beanie hat that looks like this. And what we got here are some front posts and back posts. I love to do front posts, back posts because a lot of times it just make you make another person think you put in more work than you actually did. But anyway, how cute is that? Got a little slouch going on. It is chunky. It is number, this is chunky number five. Chunky number five. Isn't that beautiful with her blue eyes? And so because I had two skeins of that, I made the hat with a cow neck scarf. Her neck is going to be too small to represent, but let's kind of camouflage it. So how pretty is that? That is a nice, beautiful, this looks like sky to me. Like when you go out and sometimes you look at the sky and the sky is blue and it has some gray and it has some white. So doesn't that look like sky? So that is what I made as well. This colorway, is it called sky? It is called... Um, don't leave home without your glasses. Seven C's. It's called Seven C's. S-E-A-S. -E but yeah, so that is how that one looks. And I thought that turned out so lovely, right? It'll keep you nice and cozy. All right, so that's another one that I made. So I did a video, guys. I did a tutorial on... Uh, some dish towels and thank you to everyone that has been making the dish towels and has been watching that tutorial because I really enjoyed that tutorial it's a really easy quick tutorial I'm not for sure if I put that video out in no uh, October or was it November but the tutorial are from I think it was last month but it was the uh, moss stitch towels like this all right, you see that nice texture? I don't know if I did it in this color for the tutorial or did I do it in this color? I'm not for sure. But it's the moss stitch or linen stitch, whichever one you call it. Uh, and so I was sharing with you all that I was trying to basically use up a lot of my yarn. So I just start making more and more towels. So I made one in half double crochet and yellow and I made one and the coral this is half double crochet and coral and yellow coral again yellow again then I took whatever I had left and I just made um a scrap one but these are great for like my uh body wash or face towels that's why i was like you know what i can use this as a face towel or body wash and this one it's another one i made and this is in the, the moss stitch as well and this one i already have used so uh it feels good and when you um and I use, I'm using these for a facial and also body wash towels. The thing about it is when you're using 100% cotton yarn, the, um, the material is so soft and so soothing. So it feels so good on my body and face and everything like that. So I was making, I was just going overboard with making towels, guys. I didn't, I couldn't stop. So yeah, so I made these towels, two, four, six towels. So yeah, so those six towels, uh, it was, I, I oh, I'm sorry, I don't have the ball band for the towels, but when I did my short video, I did share with you guys exactly what um, cotton I used to make these towels. So if you are interested in making those towels, please make sure you check out the link below or the iCard somewhere that I have it right there uh, because they're quick, easy, and I think they make great craft projects because you know what 
I got an event that's coming up really, really soon. And so I really want to make some things that hopefully it will sell. Trying to do that. But yeah, so that is what I made. One, two, two three hat and scarf set and one cow neck scarf on its own and seven dish towels. I think I was pretty busy. I do have some things currently on whip, okay? Uh, getting ready to try to finish up my um, hashtag Yarny YouTube Hop winter, winter Edition hosted by Kim from the Crafty Nomad. Trying to finish up those things and then I will be... Yeah, on to the next project, whatever that next project is going to be, guys. I don't know. I never know. I try to just enjoy whatever, you know, comes to me, right? All right, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please take a second out and click on that thumbs up button. If you are not part of this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and make sure your bell setting is on all. Drop me a comment. Do you like what I did for the month of November? Let me know how your month is coming along so far. All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it so, so very much. And until next video, always remember, y'all, Psalm 68.4 in your King James Version. Always keep your life and your health in check. And I'll see you guys out here in these YouTube streets. Okay. Bye, guys.